and let us all that we can to build a better future. I'm angry with this story because uh, I'll, the person in question in this article corrects the record as she should. Uh, but with all this uh, knee-jerk reaction to censorship, we're seeing corporate media and other authoritative sources smearing people that, you know, have different perspectives and points of view. Uh, you know what might be another word for them? Mm. A competition. Mm, true, true. And I guess Kim Iverson is scaring people at the Hill because people at the Hill are now crying to their bosses, oh no, Kim's saying this and that. Well, guess what? In life, you're going to run into people that will think differently than you. It's going to happen. It's been going on before we were born. It's going to continue on long after we're dead. That goes for everybody. So let's find out what the Daily Beast is saying. So apparently conspiracy theorists and hosts sparks revolt at DNC Insider Rag. Oh no. So what is going on? So staffers at the Hill have complained to management about one of the hosts of the DNC's outlet's popular web show over her fringe views and misinformation. Confider has learned rising co-star Kim Irison brands herself as tell it like it is no BS broadcaster, which I have to say, look, I like her work. She has her own original YouTube channel as well. She speaks her mind and perspective. She's not a robot. So, you know, I know everyone has different opinions about different content creators, different independent media outlets. Guess what? We're all adults, different perspectives and points of view. You know, I think it's even important that we don't all agree because then we all get caught by, um, well, what's yeah. the word I'm looking for? Someone help me get not get caught by it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. There we yeah. go. So, uh, so also group she, think. Yes. So group think. There you go. All right. I yeah, right there. Figured so, that anyway. out about ten seconds too late. That, it's all right. It's all right. Don't worry. The internet will forgive you. Yeah, sure. Well, <laughs> uh, but continuing on, uh, she spoke at uh, la at this month's anti-vax defeat the mandates rally in Los Angeles, and then raved about it on Rising. She was briefly suspended by YouTube last month. Again, this person didn't uh, didn't do their research because saying that she got suspended, right? Mm -hmm. When it was the hill. But yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. Shh. Don't worry. Don't there, worry. There, there's there, just people there's, telling there's, us there's, how she's wrong about her facts. There's a twisty twist. Simultaneously getting her facts wrong. There's a little twisty twist in how, again, this outlet screwed up. Because Kim Iverson will correct the record. So anyways, <clears throat> continuing on. Uh, let's see. And Iverson has uh, further sparked uproar among colleagues for parroting Kremlin talking points. Remember, anyone, remember guys, if you don't agree with someone... They're Russian. Yes. And then also, of course, she's talking about the conflict in Ukraine. Uh, she brings up the Chinese government's treatment of the Uyghurs, which her co-host, Ryan Grimm, who's never gotten anything wrong ever never, in his life, never. you know, confronted her about on air. According to multiple sources at the Hill who described her rhetoric as toxic and dangerous. Oh, no, it's toxic. I know what they say. People at the Hill, they're like, oh, we spoke to uh, two janitors who... Uh, we were, you know, didn't agree with her politically, and that's what they had to say. Numerous staffers have expressed serious concerns about Iverson to management, so they're being little Karens and Kevins running to management. No, but okay, wait, wait. I, I, I want proof of that because they're saying that they have understanding of the internal. Okay, so this means okay. So you know what this could have meant that they reached out to someone in management, and they said, "Have there been any issues with Kim Iverson?" And then he goes, "Some people have been talking about her." Mm -hmm. And then what did they do? They because again. I don't know. They've Some already gotten people. one thing factually related about Kim's uh, uh, action in this article wrong already. So when they say multiple people have said this, first of all, how can you know that without understanding the managerial flow? Exactly. And understanding stuff that should be confidential. That's not stuff that, like, what? That they reach out to, like, all the people that were involved and knew them ahead of time? If that's the case... That's even more interesting. Now, here you talk about management because the article continues on. The complaints have gone above editor-in-chief Bob Cusack, one high-level staffer told us, with senior people having taken their concerns directly to the outlet's parent company, Nexstar. So in other words, see, that that's the thing. That's that's the thing that really ticks mm -hmm. me off. It's like you're going to management. It's like it's it's like that tattletale in, in, that you had in your classroom, going to the teacher. Teacher, 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 they did this, they did that. It's like, shut the you F know, up. You know what we should do? When we get the ability to have the power to do this, we should uh, collectively get all the 99 Perspectives channels to go after one person in like Chicago, <laughs> the only people that themselves have done cancel culture, yeah. and just see how fast we can get them fired. Yeah. Oh wait, that might be a really hypocritical thing to do. Yeah. Kim is a, uh, okay, hold on. Here's here's what a staffer said, all right? This is not, this is not us saying, it's what the staffer is saying. Kim is a conspiracy. Well, this is what the 
staffers. Because we don't know. Senior staffers. Senior staffers. This is not the precise. senior staffers. Uh, Kim is a conspiracy theorist. I think she's really bad news. In a statement uh, they said about Kim Iverson, uh, Kim, uh, in a statement to confide, uh, Iverson said her co-workers' feelings aren't a secret to her. Everyone has witnessed the disdain on air, she wrote. And yes, I'm aware of whining to management. This isn't news. Insiders further noted how YouTube suspended the Hill's account last month after it aired Trump peddling election lies, right? YouTube, that's, that's from the article. So don't be coming no, after no, us. What's funny is that the, the, Trump's peddling election lies. What they really mean to say was The Hill was airing an RNC convention that Trump happened to be at. Mm -hmm. Definitely not rewording this entire thing. Now, hold on. This is where it gets, again, Kim Iverson not only once, but twice had to correct the record on this. So mm -hmm. here we go. Because okay. I got the tweet to pull it up, and I'll be reading from, from it as well. Because, again, everyone, I just want you to understand this corporate, this is why we need independent media. You hear it in the intro, this is why we need independent media, because this stuff that we're getting from corporate media is starting to get nuts, and I'm against censorship. I'm for free speech, okay? And yes, Daniel and I have different perspectives. The whole team has different perspectives and points of view. Point is, you sit down and you talk like goddamn adults. And look, we're not gonna tell you what to think or how to feel or who to vote for, all right? I expect all of you to come up with a mature decision to look at the stories that we have in the show notes the description box below and come up to your own conclusions. Will you sometimes agree with us or sometimes do agree with us? That's your choice as I believe that you should make that choice as an informed citizen. And I think the even more important is when you disagree with us, will you leave? Or will you go, I disagree with them on some things and I agree with them on others. I think that's even more important is that we've lost gray area. Yeah. I, 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 maybe even a gray zone, potentially, when we talk <laughs> with each other and realizing that we don't have to agree all the time. We mm -hmm. just have to agree on the things that we think we should agree on. Now, again, I want to continue on with the rest of the article. And while Grimm and co-host Robbie Sorov uh, criticized YouTube's decision as madly hip hypocritical, that I, di I disagreed with what YouTube did to the Hill mm -hmm. as well, Hill staffers are concerned that Iverson's continued presence could result in further penalties from the tech giant. So in other words, Corporate media is now afraid of being censored by big tech and they're trying to connect that it's Kim Iverson's fault? That is false information, that is a lie. Because I will explain why. Comparing the Iverson situation with that uh, of former Hill columnist John Solomon, whose questionable and conspiracy theory claims about Ukraine underwent thorough and scathing review after colleagues revolted, an insider lamented, I don't know what the attraction is that some people in our operation have to conspiracy theorists, but it's just not helpful. It's not a good thing. Representatives for the Hill declined to comment. Now, I want to pull up this little tweet, tweet, tweet from Easy Street. That's a tweet, tweet, tweet from Kim Iverson, right? Now, before we, again, let's, let's, let's keep it right there for a second. I, I, ju I just want to just make it very clear here, all right? What we read from that article, how everyone's at, this, at, this, at the Hill is afraid of misinformation. Wasn't too long ago before the invasion of Iraq where all the media said, there are WMDs in Iraq. That was a fact. Oh, wait, that was a lie. What about Russiagate? Oh, conspiracy theory. The Hunter Biden laptop. That was Russia. That was fake news from the right. Oh, wait. The New York Times and Washington Post just confirmed it was real. Mm -hmm. And Twitter and Facebook did everything they could to prevent anyone from sharing it. So let's pull up this little tweet, 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 right? From Kim Iverson. Trouble at the Hill? Actually, no, far from it. Sure, maybe there's a hyper-liberal person like in any organization that tries to silence views they don't like. But as CNN Plus has shown us, burnt through $300 million, CNN Plus, but as CNN Plus has shown us, people with those views aren't popular. Also, if the Daily Beast did a smidgen of journalism, mm -hmm. they know that my YouTube suspension was reversed and was met with an apology by YouTube, which again, that is true. But also, 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 true. also, also, I wasn't even on the segment that the Hill TV got banned by YouTube. But of course, they didn't mention these things as it wouldn't support the narrative from the Daily Beast. So, Kim Iverson had to correct the record, correct the record. And to which I have to say, uh, the Beast also ignored a lot of her viral views. So, you know, I mean, hey. And did they even give her a chance to do a re rebuttal? Or did they do one of those, hey, we're about to publish a story at noon and we're sending it at 11.59? Yes. And so the thing is, um, the Daily Beast, way to show your uh, butt to everyone. Way to show what kind of hypocrites you are. Uh, Kim Iverson had to correct you not once, but twice. 
Um, she wasn't responsible for The Hill being banned or suspended. Her YouTube channel was reinstated with an apology from YouTube. We got apologies from YouTube, too. Mm, Not once, but six, ta- six, six times in a row we got those. The, the, yeah. the, the, when, when, when we get to 10, we get our own coffee mug. That's nice. <laughs> we do? <laughs> no. no. That'd be nice if they did that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm choking them out of here. Sorry. That was good. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I just want to say here, we here at Harlan's Media believe in free speech. We stand in solidarity with Kim Iverson. And if Kim Iverson is removed from the hill, well, then I guess that's the hill the hill chooses to die on. Daniel, any other final comments? Yeah, okay, so Daily Beast is going after someone with that. It's like, this is the thing. If someone's like a big conspiracy theorist that you can do, you know an easy way to take them down? You just say what they've done. That's usually all it will take. If Kim Iverson is this... Terrible conspiracy theorist. And you know what you need to do? You need to take her video clips of her being this radical conspiracy theorist and uh, cut them together to show people without you even having to say anything. Because in my point of view, conspiracy theorists always speak for themselves. It's sort of their thing. So you don't really even have to do anything. You just have to kind of push them in front of a crowd and they'll sort of do it's the rest for you. What you really don't usually have the case with conspiracy theorists is you don't have to tiptoe around and find people that they work with or find people that don't like them at the water cooler or say that there's issues in this or con- con- or conflate that, their existence with things. Because you know what that makes you if you do that? A conspiracy theorist. And you know how we're taking you down right now in this segment? We're just putting out the words that you said. Are we talking about the Daily Beast's uh, managerial structure? Do we have informants inside the Daily Beast speaking for us? No. You know why? We don't have to. Mm-hmm. There you go. All right, that's a good note to end it on. Kim Iverson, keep speaking truth to power. Don't back down. And to the people at the Hill that are, well, crying to management. Well, no, 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 wait, 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 before we even say that. To the people at the Hill that might exist that are, means we don't even know if they exist or not. That's true. Like, like Kim was saying, it literally could just be one person that was upset that, you know, CNN Plus got canceled that day and they wanted to take it out on someone and then someone from the Daily Beast called. We, and again, I, I want to make it very clear. Like, I don't even think we should call out the Hill because I don't even know if that's real. Like, at least we could, they always do the, oh, it's like, you know, it's behind the thing. Hey, by the way, guys, do you know that we actually have two inside people, management level people, and five employee level people at the Daily Beast that say that the executive level smells of their farts all day. Mm. I can't tell you who they are, that we've promised them anonymity, but those people that I mentioned, those people that definitely exist that I mentioned, definitely told us those things, and you should be worried. All right. Uh, Again, Kim Iverson, keep doing the great work. Uh, The Daily Beast, Way, way, way to show journalism. Yeah, hey, you remember it. the Daily Beast when they were good? Um, when was that last? No, they got that one wrong. They got that wrong. No, they were gossip rag. No, they got that wrong. They got the whole 2016 election wrong. I'm trying to think. Is there anything they've done well? I mean, I guess maybe they've employed people. Yeah, that's they've, about You it. know what that? They've created jobs. They're job creators. They're job creators. <laughs> and there destroyers. We there we go. All right. 